Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Dying Light. Now, when we left off, we had just received our first assignment, and now we will be heading onward with our water pipe in hand and our firecrackers. There are firecrackers right there. Very nice indeed to see those, as I do believe we will be needing them. Now, I would love to explore a little bit, actually. Oh, we actually have a zombie coming after us right now. Okay. Well, he was quite agile. <laughs> Not really, no. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's see what we can do about taking out this guy. Whoa. Okay. Is he down? No, he's not down. Let's kick him. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, search dead bodies for loot. Well, this is the safest place to search. Ah, cigarettes. Hmm, we won't be needing any of those, that's for sure. But potentially selling them would be a good idea. Go on. Get out of my way. That's what you get. Okay, get round the car, don't take- Whoa, I took a little bit of damage from that fire. Okay. Goodness me. First, the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. Aha, helped the trap survivor. Okay, let's do that. Well, it appears I was running the right way, which is quite the revelation. Okay, so if we go up here, I actually... Ooh... Okay, I think I know where to go. Let's do it. Let's go up here. And we'll do a little bit of roof running right here. Now, do remember that we need to look out for red chests. And I'm actually thinking maybe I could enter some of these doorways, but I think it needs to look a particular way for us to be able to do that. So far, so good, though, I have to admit. Ooh, okay, I see a van. Maybe we can do something with that. Let's just head down here. Okay, we're fine. We are absolutely fine. I would like to actually fight a couple more zombies, but do bear in mind that my weapon is not exactly the greatest right now. And we need to be careful of our stamina, as you can no doubt see. It does deplete rather considerably and easily. Goodness me, these take a beating, do they not? Whoa, okay, search it quickly. Oh, alcohol. Okay, that might actually be pretty good for some medkits if we so desire to make more. You're close to an inactive safe zone. Try to secure it. Okay, let's do that. Why not? Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Okay, that was not necessarily the greatest, most efficient attack ever. There we are. Come on! Take him down. Oh, okay, that one's down. Okay, I'm just going to search this guy first. Wait for my stamina to come back a little bit. Just need to make sure no one else is coming up behind me. And there we go. Now let's search. Oh, another $16. Okay, not too bad. Now, oh, I can actually open this. Wonderful. Oh, man, I think it's too late for this guy. Shit. All right. Finish it. Just don't let him suffer. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, some okay. lovely slow motion. <laughs> Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Ah, oh, shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. 
Aha, we're going to do some covert operative stuff right here. Okay, so yes, we did actually pick up another gas pipe to replace the one that we almost broke, so that is wonderful. And I think I'm actually going to be changing that up right now, so let's just see here. What do we have? Oh, we have an additional gas pipe. There's the durability, and the durability on this is okay. Wait a minute, which is the one that I was using? This one. Okay, so how do I repair this? I can actually repair this right now. As you can see, we have three repairs. Do we want to do that? Do we really want to do that? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Let's just continue to use this new gas pipe. I think that's probably going to be the way to go. And there we go. Okay, that's fine. So we can now get on to the building's roof. And we can use... Really? We can actually climb these? Okay. Wow. That has actually made things a whole lot easier. That is for sure. Although, if I fall from this distance, or shall we say this height then I will be in a terrible, terrible spot. Okay, now, wait a minute. Let me just move around here. And jump for it! Ooh, we made it. We made it. Oh my goodness. That was pretty nerve-wracking. Right. Oh! Here we go. Excellent. Lock-picking medium. Please don't let me have to... Oh, I was just about to say, please don't let me have to do some sort of puzzle. To pick a lock, move the pin with the mouse, and rotate the screwdriver with A to turn the lock. If the pin begins to vibrate, it might break. Don't force it. Of course. Okay. So turn the pick with this. Okay. Relatively similar to Skyrim and various other lock-picking games. And let's just see. Okay, no. 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 We did it! Yes! Oh my goodness. First time and everything. Who would have thought it? Well, this is probably one of the first things that you come across after all. Coffee! Let's take that. And a gas pipe. Excellent. Okay, so I think what I'm probably going to want to do here is select this and throw it. How do we drop things? Not Q, that's for sure. But Q does highlight a couple of other things that we want to pick up, such as a nailed plank. And a floor plank. I don't know what the floor plank's going to be doing, but probably not going to be too useful. Okay, let's jump up here. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor. Scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer, and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. The infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. Well, they're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. Okay, I hope so. And yes, hey, there we go. Equip firecrackers with one and press middle mouse button. Of course, I already did that. There we go. Yes, there we are. Very nice. Okay, so which one do we want to do first? Well, we probably want to do the closest car first and then we'll head over to the furthest one in just a second. So, let us throw. Right. Okay, can I do it? Let's go! Set up the trap quickly! I need to get out of here! Okay, there we are. Come on! Climb it! There we go, thank you very much. Okay, we can also open this up. Hopefully we can get some gauze. No, I was hoping for some gauze, but no such luck right there. Wait, let's use our survivor sense a little bit more, because I have a feeling that I'm underusing that quite a lot. I think that 
you'd probably come across some really good stuff. Oh, and a lot of zombies as well. Oh, uh, no, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to fall down there, that's for sure. There we go. Oh, some aerosol. That's going to come in handy, I suppose. Somehow. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's jump over there once again. Okay, so we can use another batch of firecrackers for this. So let's throw them over there. Okay, all good so far. Excellent. Okay, I hope that we actually not going to get hit this time. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's close by, and I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. Ooh, okay. So they're only for the night mission. Excellent. Come on. Go down. Oh my goodness. The backhand is not too effective. Okay, there we go. Come on, search it. Ah, uh, I was hoping for a little bit more than that, but what can you do? Usually you just have to run away most of the time, nowadays at least, considering we don't have the greatest weapons at the moment, although I do have quite a few of them, so I suppose I could use our brutal melee skills a little bit more often, but I'm just getting used to things, really. I am getting a little bit better at the parkour, if I do say so myself, but maybe that's just an illusion at the moment, considering most of these areas around here are actually really cool for parkouring. As you can see, you can just jump over here, jump onto this next roof. Very nice, I've got to say. So, let's use Survivor Sense a little bit here, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Ah, we have a couple of interesting things to pick up here. Oh, batteries, good, good. More metal parts, and we have something else over here as well. Baklava! You've picked up a snack. Oh, I ate it. I ate it already. Wonderful. Okay, so that actually gives us back a little bit of HP. I believe that gave us 10 HP, which is rather nice. So, now we want to go over to prepare traps for the light mission. Let us make our way over there. I probably shouldn't be running on the ground either. It's probably a bad idea, isn't it? Or is it? Because I actually have to go over there. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it would be good to look on the minimap every now and again. Oh, hello. Let's do it. Come on. Get down. Get down on it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Okay. Well, noise draws the attention of dangerous virals. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that that would happen as soon as I saw the red explosive barrel ignited. Oh, my goodness. Okay, how do I get on top of this, though? Huh. Is there a way I can just... Ah. Okay. I got it. Okay. That's good. Very nice indeed. Jump it! There we go. It's quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the infected quite a <laughs> There we go. Good. Give me your money. There we are. Very nice. Okay, so I could actually take this and throw it downwards, but I suppose we don't really need to worry about this because we can use this particular box and arm the traps. Or maybe not. Ah, it appears we have to head off somewhere else. But yes, we have another lockpicking puzzle here. I have a feeling this is going to be to the right. No? No? Oh. Perhaps not. No. Yes! There we go. Excellent. Okay, please give me something nice. Give me a new weapon. Ooh, very nice. A pipe wrench with 32 damage on it. And some coffee. Okay. Well, I need to figure out how we're going to actually drop some of these items. So, ah, it's X once we are in this particular menu. So, we're going to be dropping this. Dropping this, and we're going to be equipping this. How do I do that? How do I equip this? Oh, like that. Okay, using enter is a little bit unintuitive, but I suppose that will be fine for now. And we'll equip the pipe wrench as well over there. Thank you very much. Great. Okay, so we need to arm more devices. Let's do it.
Okay, I'm not entirely sure how effective this is, to be honest, but... Oh, we've actually leveled up our power. Very nice. And we've gained some more alcohol. I just need gauze. Goodness me, gauze are very hard to come by by the looks of things. Ah. Well, let's try not to take too much damage. We only have two med kits after all. What is that over there, though? Goodness me, there's just so much to look at. And so much to do. Ah, okay. Oh, wait, we have something in here. Batteries and a blade. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Almost jumped right next to one of the infected. Okay, wait. Let's use this. Yeah, there we are. Let's open this up. We've got some more snacks. Got some household supplies. Can I open this as well? Yes, I can. What is in here? Nothing. Ah, game. How dare you do that to me. Okay. <laughs> so... Ooh, we can actually open this. Or maybe not. Huh. There must be an alternate route into the room. Can I not jump in through there? No. Hmm. Well, it appears that I'm not able to breach this kind of thing just yet. Maybe I... Ah, there we go. We need to hit the floorboards and get in through the roof. Very nice indeed. So, let's take a look here. Is there anything I can loot? Ah, this cabinet. I don't know why I'm spending all the time looting. Ah, gauze. Very nice. Okay, that is exactly what I wanted to find. And some more batteries here. Anything else? No, but we can open this door now, I do believe. Yes, it was locked. Whoa, very incredibly securely locked. Goodness me. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just going to run over here. And I'm going to have to go over there as well, aren't I? Yes, I am. So let's jump. There we go. Thank you. There we are. Okay, more survivor sense, anything around here? Yeah, there are some things, but I'm not going to be able to get them at the moment. There we go. Very nice. Jump. There we go. Okay, so I think before we head on any further, we would probably want to take a look at our skills, because we have leveled up in agility and power. So, let's do that. The agility tree allows you to outrun your opponents, to increase your agility level, perform climbs, jumps, or other free-running moves, and use skills from the agility tree itself. So what we have right now is dodge. Dodge incoming attacks by jumping sideways or backwards. Move in the desired direction and press space to execute. Oh, that's quite nice. So you don't have to double tap it, which usually you do in a game gives you the dodge ability. That's rather nice. Okay, I like that. Now, let's see. Power. The power tree allows you to face your opponents directly to increase your power level, engage in combat, kill your enemies creatively, and use skills from the power tree, of course. So what do we have right now? We have stun. Learn how to attack with great precision. Each strike with a blunt weapon to an enemy's head has a chance to stun. There we are. That's going to come in mighty handy, no doubt. And there we have it. Okay, so let's move on to the next traps that we have to do here. Oh, we actually have to get to the top of this? Can I not press space to climb on this pole like they taught me how to do beforehand? Perhaps not. I think we probably have to get up here. And then maybe up here? Let's just see a second. There is actually another one there too, so how is that going to work? Probably have to get up there, so I'd have to climb over to that scaffolding perhaps in the distance. But for now, I think we'll just do this one. Whoa, okay. It seemed a little bit closer than I imagined, but yes. Hmm, very close. Oh my goodness, and there's an entire warehouse here. Well, it's not that big, but yeah. An entire warehouse for us to loot. And I was hoping that I'd see a red chest, but no such luck. So it appears that I'll just have to sprint across here and see what I can do. Ah, no. Trash piles, awnings, cars, and even enemies lessen the impact of your fall. Well, that's really nice, but I don't know how to get on here. Okay, we need to take care of this guy, though. Yes. Are you dead? Yes, you are. Very nice. Okay, so how do I get up here? I really do not know. 
Hmm. Wow. That is actually really quite puzzling, I gotta say. Okay, we've got to be careful here. No. Okay. Yes. Come on. I'd like to inflict some stun if possible, but it doesn't appear as though that is the case this time around. Ah. Okay, it took a little bit more time than I would have liked, and only eight dollars for that? Uh, okay, so... How is that even going to work? Okay, I'll just leave that one and we'll move on to the next one, because even this one looks reasonably impossible. Is there a way to do that? Wow. Okay, if there is, then I will have to find out in the next episode. So, without further ado, I'll end this episode off here. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.